Hey, welcome back. Hungry Hammered Guy here. Listen, this is the perfect New Year's Eve or New Year's Day recipe right here. Beautiful stuffed salmon. I'm just going to sit it right over top of some uh, risotto with a Chardonnay lemon butter sauce. But the main star of the show here is that salmon. Quick look at the ingredients here. Pretty basic. Red onion, red bell pepper. We got the pretty much all-purpose seasoning back there. Parmesan. Beautiful wild-caught king salmon here. Cut it into about an 8 ounce filet. So first off, we're going to begin by making our stuffing mix. I'm just going to be using this red bell pepper here. Just cut this up, you know, nice finely. We're going to be searing this and the red onion off and a little bit of olive oil in a minute. Pretty much that's going to be added into our mix. So like I said, go ahead and dice that up. And do the same exact thing for your red onion. You guys have seen this before, but if you haven't, check it out. Just cut the onion in half. Then without, you know, cutting all the way through the back, go ahead and make some slits down this way. This is probably just the fastest and easiest way to dice up an onion. Then just go onto the side and all the way through. And straight down so go ahead and like I said get a pan nice and hot we're just gonna sear these off real quick you know just sweat them out bring the you know the true flavor out get that pan nice and hot throw them in there I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of seasoning just salt and pepper for now with these And that's the color that you know I really want right there so now we could just set those aside let it come to room temperature also you know your cream cheese should be sitting out to room temperature also uh, all the specific measurements and ingredients are going to be listed down in the description box for you too we're gonna use some of that cream cheese and Dijon mustard shredding a little bit of Parmesan in here also going to add a tremendous amount of flavor for that mix and also helps hold it together inside the salmon too. A little bit of uh, lemon zest. After you uh, zest the lemon, set that aside if you want to make that, you know, uh, Chardonnay lemon butter sauce because you will need it later. Throw in a few teaspoons of parsley and a pinch of salt also in the mix. Hitting it with some black pepper. And like I said, once these have cooled off, you know, go ahead and throw those bell peppers and the onion into the mix also. And we're just gonna give this a rough mix. Notice I haven't added the crab in yet. I didn't get, you know, a super jumbo lump or, um, you know, this is just lump crab meat right here. So it really doesn't make too big of a difference, but if you really want those big lumps, Add the, add the crab meat in last and mix it up so you don't break it apart too much. And now we just combine everything all together right there. Finally, on to the main part here, folks. Go ahead and season up that salmon, salt and pepper. I'm gonna hit it, like I said, with some all-purpose, just some uh, garlic powder and onion powder also. If you want to, you know, you can use whatever seasoning you like here if you want Cajun or you know add a little paprika to it too really up to you now we have the top of the salmon here just gonna season up both sides and also the sides you'll see I roll it you know the salmon around and some of that leftover um, seasoning that's left on the plate right there
showing it some love. Great flavoring right here. Like I said, now just roll the sides, you know, into that leftover. Now we can begin the stuffing process. Guys, if you can, use a smaller, but make sure it's sharp, you know, knife right here. And we're pretty much just gonna cut along the side without going all the way through the filet of salmon. So be real careful here. You can see I'm kind of just working through the flesh of the salmon. Trying to just make sure I get as big as a, a pocket as I can without going all the way through. I like the look of that right there. It looks like it can hold a lot. So now, real simple, just go ahead and start stuffing. Be sure not to overstuff because then it'll all fall out and look pretty sloppy, but you wanna make sure you get a decent amount in there also, so. Yep, that's looking good right there. look on that salmon I'm loving it so first things first I like to really lock in that flavor so go ahead and heat up a pan nonstick skillet um, throw a little olive oil in there I like to throw a little butter too to help it brown but we're just gonna sear off the salmon real fast to lock in all that you know the uh, seasonings flavors that we have right there this will be getting baked so if you want to go ahead and preheat your oven already to 400 degrees But just high heat real fast we're just like i said going to sear off you know both sides real fast to get a nice crust nice uh you know crisp color on there give it about three minutes on each side and then we can go ahead and flip it careful not to be too rough with it because you know like i said you don't want that the filling to all fall out but as you can see it's staying in there pretty good right now we got a beautiful color on there Again, after like another three sides, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> three minutes on that side, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to, um, you know, a little pan to get ready to throw into the oven. 400 degrees, that looking good. I like to just throw a little bit of wine. I'm gonna use that Chardonnay. It's just gonna help the, uh, the salmon stay moist and, you know, soak up some extra flavor while it's in the oven. After about eight minutes, this is what we're looking like. Got a little more color. The salmon is cooked through, not dry though. And that stuffing right there is looking great. Remember folks, hey, also I'm gonna have a reel showing you how to make this risotto. Um, up in the top corner here, you can go ahead and click on one of my other videos because I've done uh, the Chardonnay lemon butter sauce a few times before too, but I just think these are the perfect size to plate this up with. The flavors just go together so, so well. And you know I gotta go in for a taste test for this one. Love me some salmon, but you stuff it with some crab meat too? Forget about it. Mmm, perfect combination, folks. Go ahead and try this one out for yourself. End the year off with a bang. Happy New Year's to everybody.